Okay, different types of herbs. Lots of herbs will grow very easily. Again, some of them are perennials and some of them are annuals. One of the, one of the major perennial types to grow are sages. This is a typical sage plant. It grows lovely grayish green leaves and has, I'm so sorry, this is only a video, it has a lovely smell when you touch it. This is a wonderful plant to grow, grows quite easily, can be a little tender in heavy winters, so you would want to mulch it. It's best if you cut it back in the fall somewhat, trim it off, take all these cuttings, hang them, let them dry, use your sage, give your sage away, whatever you like to do with sage. Put it in your pillows, I know some people who do that. Um, so that's sage, and sage is a wonderful plant to grow. It can't get quite large, it just needs some trimming. Now another perennial would be thyme. Thymes grow very easily, and there are many different kinds of thyme. Thyme always has this very small, low-growing type of, of habit. It's a very prostrate plant, but it's a wonderful seasoning, and it grows very easily. There are lemon thymes and furry thymes and all kinds of thymes. And again, it, it benefits from being cut back, and you can either cut it in the fall or trim it once it's completely dead in the, died back and cut it back in the winter. And again, if you cut it in the fall, you, just have, you can have bouquets of thyme that you can dry always in nice dry dark places. Oregano is another very easy herb to grow. It grows very well in almost all areas of the country and again it can spread quite a bit so you you want to contain it. Herbs are good to grow in um, in pots but if you put a perennial herb in a pot cut it back in the winter and and don't let the, pro the pot freeze solid. Put it in the garage. Put it someplace where it won't freeze right to the solid because you'll kill the roots. Again cut it back Hang those leaves, let them dry, and you'll be making some spectacular spaghetti sauce.